Hi, okay, now I'm sitting here again with Jessica, and again, we just re we're uh, finishing up a listing consultation, we're handling objections. Um, and a very common listing appointment objection that we'll get is about commission. They don't want to pay a full commission, okay? And there's, there's quite a few different ways uh, that we can overcome the commission objection, but the first one I'm gonna show you is gonna be my favorite, okay? All right, so. With that being said, I'll say, okay, uh, so we'll, we just got over the pricing of the property and say, okay, so it sounds like we've agreed upon a price. Yes. And all we need to do is uh, fill out the listing agreement and let me get started working for you. Okay, uh, can you tell me how much uh, we're paying commission to you, Brian? Uh, sure, we do, uh, yes. Uh, we charge a 6% commission uh, with 3% uh, we keep on the listing side and then we pay out 3% to the buyer's agents out there. Anyone that brings a buyer, represents a buyer that comes in and, uh, and uh, purchases the property. Does that make is sense? That, is that the going rate these days, 6%? It's what I recommend for sure. Yeah, we, we don't want to cut back on what we charge um, ever uh, because we want your house to look the best possible and be put in the best possible light. Understand that the vast majority of home buyers are represented by a real estate agent. Okay, over 98% of all home purchasers are represented by an agent. Okay, and the 2% that aren't typically are buying directly from home builders, um, maybe even for sale by owners, things like that. So it's a very small percentage that are. So we're actually marketing your house to real estate agents more than we are the general public. So we want your house to be put in the best light to all of the other real estate agents. Does that make sense to you? Okay, I, I think it does. I just curious i ran into a friend who has now got a real estate license and she said she could do it for five and a half huh would you consider doing it for five and a half because you've got a lot more experience than my friend you just started yeah i'm sorry i can't and and, and, and i understand that and i appreciate you acknowledging that but yeah no we don't do that uh, we're a full service uh real estate brokerage and uh, so um i can i definitely don't recommend doing it with the other side too and i'm sorry your friend's doing that you know, that's, uh, that's nice of her. Um, but no, I think the key here is to get your home sold and get you moved into that new school district so that your kid can start school. That was terrible. But yeah, you get it. <laughs> yes, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Make sense? It makes sense. Okay. Let's ask it again. Let's say, would you be willing to cut your commission? Mm -hmm. Okay, because that was a little bit different. You asked me how much I charge. Sure. Okay. So if you ask me how much I charge, I'm going to say 6%, I keep three and I pay out. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you ask me, will I reduce my commission? Ask that one. Okay. Will you reduce your commission, Brian? My answer is going to be no. I'm sorry. We don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just going to hold that line. Gosh. I used to do business with Bob Smith and he used to give me a discount. And the reason we're not working with him is because he retired and moved away. That's why I called you, but uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll sign that listing agreement. Yeah. <laughs> see, see how weird that got? It got weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's called letting silence do the heavy lifting. Resist the temptation to end the silence. There is actually in any negotiation, you just need to hold the line and just let that weirdness sneak in. Does that make sense? So, and that's hard until you've done it a few times because we're naturally people pleasers. So trust me, what's inside of me that whole time is, man, I wanna make her happy. This is so awkward, but I've gotta hold the line. Make sense? So, so I gotta sit there and hold that line the whole time. So say no and shut up and stay shut up because they're going to cave. They always cave. And I didn't tell you to cave, you just cave. It always happens because you just can't take it anymore. It's too freaking weird. You know what I mean? So if you just sit there and just, Sorry, no. And you just kind of stare and just let it get weird. The weirder it gets, the better it is for you. Make sense? You know, what I want to say, I mean, the whole time I had stuff going on in my head, but I stopped. I was like, well, no wonder he retired. You keep going. You know what I mean? Like, I bet he's out of business. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, there's so many things I could say, right? I could start justifying. That's the worst thing you can do. They start saying, well, we have to pay for this and we have to pay for that. And we have all of this and I have to pay my broker. And you can get into all, now I'm justifying. That's going to make someone see blood and you're going to get a lot more objections. The best is to hold the line. No, right? 
If I go to Nordstrom's, I don't ask, I don't haggle over the bracelet I'm gonna buy, okay? But if they start making any inclination that we can maybe work with you on the price, holy moly, I'm gonna see blood and I'm gonna start haggling. But if they realize that doesn't happen here, it's not gonna happen here. So I don't wanna give them any inclination that I'm uncomfortable by holding the line. Make sense? It's awkward, it seems very strange. As humans, we naturally want to justify. Just say no, right? Just say no, hold the line, and let it work. Every now and then you might lose a client, and trust me, you'll be very happy you lost that client later. Okay? Thank you. <laughs>